So Tim, we're out here first morning <laughs> looking for Farley's. Uh, we've seen a couple on the way in. Yeah. And um, as you can see, it's very open terrain and stuff. But thank goodness, uh, Brendan's been doing some scouting and behind us in this big mountain there, a couple of miles that he's knows lives here. So he's yeah, going to... Yeah, just got to scan this whole mountain and see find what out we where see. they're at. Yeah, at least the wind's died down a bit now, so maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, it's in our face right now, so... All looking good. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's go do it. Get the wind right and then sneak back like this. Okay. Maybe they'll settle there. They did stop to make sure that we're above them with the wind. They've got very good sense of smell. Okay. So we go up and go up past those rocks. No, not up there. Get to these rocks here. Yeah, the and then the way it, and Then I'm going to sneak over and have a look and see. I doubt, I doubt they would have come up the slope on our right. So I'm hoping they stopped here. If they didn't, they've gone into that very big back valley. It's very possible. Because okay. a lot of times when they run, they move, but this is part of it. You have to just take your time and have a look. not far. We're going to take all the time we need because of the wind. Work our way forward. They're lying down here. I can see one but I'm sure there are others. Um, we'll take our time. If they run then we'll have to try to get up and get on the tall sticks. Day in Africa, Tim. Yeah, it was a wonderful day in Africa. Um, you know, we were chasing volleys, the the vol rebucks in um, up in the Karoo. And what was that peak? The Compass Peak or something? Compassburg, way yeah. of Compassburg, way up in the mountains. And um, we saw lots of volleys and had a great time with it. Um, but at the same time, I, I you know, it's important. I think that we tell everybody about these videos that we do. There, it's not all highlight reels this is really what happens over here and and um, you know I uh, had a wonderful experience and shot a, a, a vol uh, rebuck and uh, just unable to track him down I, I, how many miles did that thing run I mean I know we didn't actually it's, measure it's, it it's but hard to say Tim you know it ran down one canyon up another one um, we had a decent blood trail in the beginning but yeah. that petered out and it's unfortunately just as things happen um, things do happen and, and yeah you know I, I you know we had so much fun on the hunt and that uh, I still want to make sure that we'll talk to the guys and make sure that that still gets on there even though we don't have the trophy to show for it unfortunately we did not recover Tim far back while he was on safari with us but about four days after the hunt I got a call from the landowner to say they had seen the injured ram again I made another trip up back into the mountains and was fortunate enough to recover Tim's ram. Well, 
Good morning, man. Morning. What a beautiful crisp morning up in the Korean mountains. Much better than we had yesterday with all the wind. Yeah, it's so nice that there's no wind today. So, you know, it was a very cool evening last night. It was quite chilly this morning. So I'm going to get back into this canyon and sit a glass. So we find a clip you can sun itself. Exactly. Perfect. Let's do it, buddy. All right, sounds good. He, he's jumped off that rock and he's moved to the right now. Good shot. <laughs> Where do I start? Been up here in the Karoo hunting uh, Clip Springer and uh, Val Reed Buck and um, the last morning before we leave we were able to, to get on this guy. We saw him last night that nine nine Clippies on this this mountain last night, and uh, we picked this guy out. Uh, old, uh, old old male with uh, washed out horns, and uh, he kind of tried to hide from us. And so we said we're going to come back and see him in the morning, and it worked out. First thing before breakfast, we got uh, we got our clippy today. <laughs> Tim, I think it's getting warm now. Let's head up into the plains, then we can see if we can get a zebra. Let's get down here, move a bit forward, and we get into a prone position up on this mound here. All right, Tim, if you're comfortable, the zebra is second from the left. Take it. Very nice old mare this is. Been looking at these things for six years now. Yep. Never Today was the, really the first day that we decided to take one yeah, or try I, hunt one. Yeah. To, we've never even put a stock on one before, but uh, yeah. But today, we saw this beautiful dry mare, and we said, let's 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 see what we can do. They, they looked a little calmer than usual. Yeah, we so. took our opportunity. There was there was a herd of about. 20 zebra or so. Yeah. Um, there was a mature stallion as well in the group, but he never really presented himself. And then when this old mare stepped out on the side, um, yeah, the skin you know, we, yeah, know we decided unique, to take it. But I bet you, Tim, if I ever look here at her teeth, uh, they're probably going to be worn down. Yeah, see how she's missing. Yeah, yeah. But a beautiful skin. And uh, yeah. well done, buddy. Let's get her set up for the picture. Just before lunch, um, that's where we left that bachelor group of those Impala. So. The one that had the saddlebag? Yes, yeah. yeah. Let's go see if we can find it. We'll go down off this ridge, get yeah. the wind out, and work our way around. And let's see, hopefully, he's still there because there's not a lot of them around. So yeah. let's go have a look. Let's do it. So I don't think they would have moved too far from there. 
Let's just get these bushes up here. Well done, Tiff. Thank you. Wow, what a beautiful animal. Look at that. Wow. Uh -huh. That's beautiful. Let's get him up here, Tim. Would you grab him this side? Let's get him up a bit higher. Yeah. Right, so, um, here at John X, I started uh, uh, my love of impala hunting about five, six years ago, something like that. And uh, and I've been very excited about him. I've um, helped manage the herd. I've uh, got some nice trophies. And then, uh, Three or four years ago, Greg, I think it was, we shot the black Impala. And at the time, uh, here on the ranch, that was the only other color phase they had, and looked into it a little bit and found out there's a couple others, but I didn't know they were here and thought I was gonna have to go to another country and lo and behold, we had a blessing today. We found a Saddleback Impala and uh, this is gonna look nice. We're gonna do a full body mount for this one, put him right in the lodge. It's gonna be nice. Uh, a couple of bush bucks uh, come out into this field while we were sitting up uh, in the trees having lunch and uh, one of them looks like a shooter so we're gonna go check it out. Let's just go down the road and get up on the high on the bank and have a look. It is Bondabuk to the right there so You got the big clump, okay, the blue flowers, plumbago. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's imagine as we're going along this road yeah. where it bends. Yeah. You've got one thing of plumbago, then green bush, then another lower thing of plumbago. Yeah. Then to the right, there's a gap between the bushes of plumbago. He's yeah. there. Get the rifle on the squeezer to get you into position. Take him just behind the front shoulder. Let's go see if we finally got your bush back. I'll be very happy. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. There's blood on the left and the street. <laughs> Great, we finally Whoa. got your rack. Look at that guy. Oh, look at this exit. thing. Okay, hold on. Yeah, make your rifle make, safe. Make the rifle safe here. Finally, Tim, not the far safaris. <laughs> well done, my man. Man, thank you. Thank you, Greg. After this five years. We've been searching for these guys for a little bit. Yes. And seeing, seeing some ewes and some little rams and one ram shooter, but he was kind of a non-typical with his horns uh, and that was uh, in September. Yeah, last year. So, so and uh, 
but man, what a what an event here. We're just having lunch sitting there. Yeah, up on, and on the top and just shows just, you. Just trying to relax during sipping on my water and and Greg's like, Tim, bush bucks are in the field. And lo, lo and behold, Very two tough. of them came out and right we tracked them down. Great yeah. shot, look at that there, Tim. And, uh, didn't go far and I'm really happy. Really nice look old dam. Look at there. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah. Well done, my man. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. This is awesome. Awesome trophy. Let's have a look. Just make the rifle safe, please. Okay. Uh, here you go. Woo. <laughs> We've been trying for them for a couple of trips too now. We have. Look yeah. at you. He, You'll see how he's got a little bit of yeah, he's growth got, in there he's too. He's got some so. secondary growth. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice mature ram. Yeah. Go get a good picture of him. Look at this thing. Yeah, okay. very cool. Very cool. Yeah, look at the. That's the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Very small animals. Yeah. It's a tough target. Yep. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Pull on that side. Very nice. day of a trip to his always a sad day. It is a sad day. And uh, it's been wonderful having you, my buddy hunting it's been with a, it's me been again. A, another fun adventure for sure. Yeah. So uh, there's some kudu cows down there in the valley. Let's go a little bit stay a little bit longer and see if the bull doesn't pop out. But it's been wonderful and uh, hopefully we can close the day off with a good old cold kudu bull. It'd be nice. It'd be very nice. Yep. Behind the front shoulder. Okay, relate, you two. He's coming down. Oh, there he's down. Yeah, yeah. That is a very, very Nyala looking. Yeah, this, this might be a Could shoulder be. mount instead of a. I was going to Euro it, but that's so unique. Do you see how his horns go around? He no. makes a turn. Hold on. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Look, Tim. Jeez. You see how different these horns are. Yeah. He, he's not even getting really his turn, and that one's just totally different. This is uh, this is the Inyala we've been looking for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's just very, very different shape. Yeah, let's get up. Well, I wanted to do call kudu for a nice Euro mount, but I think this thing's got to go on the wall. That's cool. We go. Baby signed the papers and moved off my block I was back at square one I 